up you guys it's Jess and I'm here with a new video basically it's now been a week since I've gotten lip fillers for the first time being the youtuber brain that I have I decided I was going to film my experience so I could tell you guys so to start off I'm gonna make sure anybody watching this is in a judgment-free zone because I don't judge and I hope you don't judge as well because I'm all about doing what makes you happy. I don't think I really need to explain why I wanted to get lip fillers because it's no one's business but my own. But I will say, being a makeup artist, it is so much easier now that I don't have to overdraw my lips. So how this even came about, I've been thinking about doing this for over a year now. It's just very costly and you have to keep up with it and I did not have the funds for it. Basically, I got my lips done by Nayara. I will leave um, her Instagram down below. And I found her a while ago because someone I knew got lips done by her and I was like, I'm obsessed. If I'm ever going to get it done, I'm gonna go to her. So I've been following for a while. Two weeks ago, she posted that she was doing a Thanksgiving giveaway where she was giving away a free syringe of Juvederm. So I entered it not really thinking anything of it because I don't win anything. Um, I had the worst luck. But I just did it and kind of forgot about it. A week or two goes by and I got a thing that like my name was mentioned in her story and I was like, what? So now I'm gonna insert a clip of me before I got them done. Before, so you can see what they look like. I'm not too concerned about the bottom, I'm more concerned about the top because I kinda look like Cindy Lou Who, I don't have a top lip. So let me show you a close up of my lips. Uh, yeah, so. When I smile, my top lip kinda goes away, so. So I'm on my way to uh, get lips. Yes. Dragged her along with me? Yes. How do you feel? I feel fine. I mean, I'm not the one getting lip injections, so... Great! So, my experience. As it being super professional and everything, um, it literally was not even 10 minutes long. And the needle that she uses has a numbing agent in it, so like by the end I couldn't feel anything. It only really hurt the first time. Finally, I was a bleeder. Did not know that, but here we are. And so I had some major bruising, but that's normal. I have a few marks that I'll show you, but it's still only been a week, and she said it takes two weeks for everything to settle. So I'll, of course, do a two week update as well. Don't lie though, it did hurt the few days after it. It was super hard to eat. Everything was just like very stiff. I couldn't talk right. It can say like B's or P's, and I'm still having a little bit of trouble with it, but not that much anymore. I could not sip through a straw. Like, I still, I can't whistle anymore. So that's a new one. Nothing. I did ice it and put heat on it for two days. But even though there was pain and everything, I did not care. And I will insert some pictures here of the bruising and the swelling. But honestly, the swelling, I was like, she looks real good, not gonna lie. There's some like before and after pictures, so you can tell from the earlier clip that I really did not have an upper lip, especially when I smile. But now when I smile, she ready. Show you with lipstick and without, just so you can see the difference. But this is my one week update. That is what they look like without lipstick. All right, so now we are at the two week update and it's been, I think a couple days after two weeks, but it's still the two week mark. So this is what my lips look like now. And I'm going to have to take off my lipstick because I did overdraw a bit still, which sucks, but I understand the first time you get it done, they go down a lot. Mm. Take my lipstick off. I just wanted to get my final thoughts out of the way. I'm super, super happy that I did this. It's totally boosted my confidence, and I also love putting on makeup even more now. See the shape. I have a shape to my upper lip now. Super pleased with it. I can totally do everything normal again. My lips feel like my lips now. There's no stiffness. I can close my mouth. I can drink with a straw. I can do everything with it now. They're just slightly lifted. So I definitely think it's worth it if you're someone that is looking for that sort of change, but obviously don't encourage it because I don't encourage getting things done unless you really want it. Well, I'm super happy I did it and I would definitely go back when it eventually fades because I don't think I can go back to my non-upper lip anymore. Like, that's not a thing. Who is she? 
So yeah, that was my lip journey and I will definitely post when they do eventually fade, how long that took and then getting them done again. If you like this sort of thing, leave a comment down below what else you want to see. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and as always subscribe so you're notified whenever I post a new video. And all my social media links are down below so please give me a follow. And feel free to DM me with any questions you have regarding the lips. I will be happy to answer them. I have to say, until next time, bye.